Hello YouTube, I am at my vanity today um, with mini RMS Wild with Desire lipsticks. They come in a little box set like this and in comparison we've got the mini one on here, the big one on here. So you get 1.8 grams in the mini and you get 4.5 in the full size and I will leave um, what they retail for Canadian and USD in the description box as I always do so feel free to check that out. I thought we should do swatches to compare all the shades I own currently and then I can give you my thoughts on the formula which is one of my favorites. Oh spoiler alert. Okay let's do it. So first things first what I wear with these all the time is the RMS lip liner and this is in daytime nude. It's a little spin up you may have seen this on Sephora or things like that but I use it under dark lips. I use it under diabolic and a bunch of other things from RMS. So that's what it looks like. It's like a Definitely has some brownie peachy undertones, very neutral. I think it's amazing to pair with this. I paired it with Unmistakable in the lip swatches and I use it with Breathless and like I said, Diabolic and everything like that. So let's put Unmistakable right next to it. So that's Unmistakable. I'm gonna compare it to Brain Teaser and Breathless that I already have and kind of see what the vibe is here the lip liner in daytime nude next to that we have the mini in unmistakable then we have breathless and brain teaser so breathless is definitely the beigey is peachiest of all the unmistakable leans a little pink and as you can see brain teaser has got a little brick in it actually and it looks even red compared to the other two nudes now for some favorites colors colors okay so unmistakable we saw you <laughs> Next we're gonna do Temptation, which is the mauve of the bunch. So it looks like so. So that's Temptation. Definitely got a little bit of purple in there. Kind of reminds me of NARS Anna and the Kathleen Lights dupe that ColourPop did. It's kind of got those uh, wearable every day, but still more color than a nude to brighten up your face. Then we have Masquerade, which is Odang pink. Like are we gonna get in a fight about it, how pink it is? I would say like, I don't even know if there's a blue base. Oh, it is so pink. So if you're a pink lover, if you're a Barbie lover, hopefully you'll be feeling that. I don't know how much wear I'll get out of that one. Maybe if I go to like an 80s night or something. <laughs> this one I love, Jezebel. It's like a blackberry red. It's like a more wearable version of Russian roulette that I have from them. Like so. And Nightfall is what I'm wearing right now. Oh. I can't even take it off. It's so good. So it's like uh, brown, but you know what? It's the color of blood. That's what it is. It's got red in there. It's like dried blood, which doesn't sound pretty, but oh, I love it so much. And you're going to see all of these on the lips. Um, right about now. So if you've never tried these lipsticks before, I would, I honestly would try to say they're the best in green beauty and I own a lot of lipsticks. I own 100% pure. I have Red Apple. I have Nudis. I, 
Oh, I have Cure Weiss, which retails for, I think, twice the amount that RMS does, and I would re recommend RMS's formula over Cure Weiss in a heartbeat. Um, I think they're going to please people that like a creamier lip because they don't feel matte going on. They're going to like people like me that likes a drier matte lip because um, they don't move around, which is amazing. They can blot it down for even a more matte lip, but I don't really think you need to. If you're a matte lover, these will work for you. If you're a creamy lover, these will work for you. I don't find them drying, although if you wear the same thing all day, I guess anything would be, but I find them very comfortable, very pigmented. Um, I'm going to read out some of the ingredients here for you. So the first one is castor seed oil. They have beeswax and okay, so they're not vegan. And they do contain a little bit of food grade pigment that RMS was very, uh, Rosemary Swiss specifically was very specific about. So if that's something you're trying to avoid, I, I would recommend 100% pure line to you. They have a bunch of different finishes. I think they're beautiful as well. I would say this is the most comparable to traditional conventional beauty lipsticks while maintaining clean ingredients and high quality. So I give them a big thumbs up. I hope you try them out and uh, maybe let me know what your favorite shade is, whether you own one or whether it was one of the ones you saw today. Okay, until next time, keep smiling. Bye.